The Orange County housing market continues to surprise many as we're still experiencing bidding wars and multiple offers, rapidly rising home prices, and homes selling very quickly despite the much higher mortgage rates that we're currently seeing today. We recently sold three of our listings over the asking price, and one of those sales was a condo where we beat the old record high sale by $26,000 due to the incredible amount of marketing we do and our negotiating strategy. I'm Tim Hamilton with StellarQuest Real Estate, and if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, please feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. You can find all of my contact information in the description below. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions and let you know what we can do to help. Now in this video, we're doing our June housing market update for Orange County, where we're going to be discussing why we're currently still in such a hot seller's market, what's happening to home prices, what you can expect in the housing market this summer, and where the 30-year fixed rate mortgage rate currently is today. So if you enjoy watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button below, and please subscribe if you like to stay up to date on the housing market. First, let's talk about why we're still currently in such a hot seller's market where home prices are rising quickly and most homes are selling extremely fast. And the primary reason is because of a severe lack of available homes for sale in Orange County. And so what we're looking at here is a graph of the last four years of supply, which is the total number of homes for sale. And you can see that today we actually have less homes for sale than we did at the start of the year. And the level that we're currently at is far below what we would consider a normal number of homes for sale in Orange County when comparing that to previous years, particularly, you know, prior to 2020 and what happened during the pandemic. And so really there's just a lot less homes coming on the market so far this year. The primary reason for that is because interest rates are much higher and many homeowners have locked in a very low mortgage rate. So, you know, they don't want to make a move to give up that lower mortgage rate for a much higher one. So they're simply deciding to stay put and not list their home for sale. Now, looking at buyer demand, you can see that buyer demand is also relatively low this year and far below what would be considered a normal level. And there are really two reasons why buyer demand is where it is today. It's a combination of much higher mortgage rates, which makes purchasing a home less affordable, and it's also low due to the fact that there simply aren't enough homes for sale. You know, we're still seeing multiple offers and bidding wars out there, so not everyone who wants to buy a home is able to successfully get their offer accepted. So if there were more homes for sale, we would likely see buyer demand be slightly higher than where it is today. And so really the market is so hot because the shortage in the supply of homes for sale is much more severe than the low level of buyer demand that we're currently seeing. Now let's talk about what buyers and sellers can expect as we transition from the spring to summer housing market in Orange County. And typically the summer market brings with it an increase in the total number of homes for sale, a slight decrease in buyer demand, and an increase in the expected market time. And so we're, what we're looking at here is a chart that was put together by Stephen Thomas, who is the author of the Orange County Housing Report. And this is showing the average change during the five-year average from 2015 through 2019. And so you can see here that during those years, on average, the supply of available homes for sale increased by 9%, buyer demand fell 7%, and the expected market time increased by 17%. So this typically, you know, means that the market slows down slightly. It, you know, that's not enough of a change that you're going to see a, a drastic shift in the housing market. But, you know, you may notice that there are slightly less showings, slightly, you know, less competitive bidding wars and multiple offers. And some homes that may have sold after the first weekend may take one more weekend of showings. So the sellers will most likely still be in the driver's seat when it comes to negotiations here, and it will most likely remain in a seller's market. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the median home price in Orange County, as well as where mortgage rates currently are today. 
And so first we're going to look at the median home price and we're looking at a graph here that comes from InfoSparks and they get all of their data directly from the multiple listing service. And we're looking at the median price for residential single family homes, condos and townhomes. So in April, we were sitting at 980,000, which rose all the way up to just under $1,040,000 in May. So that's an increase of $60,000 in the median home price in just one month or a rise of about 6.1%, which is just an absolutely huge month over month gain. And that of course is a result of all of the bidding wars we're seeing that are you know, driving home prices up and we're seeing homes selling above the asking price. Now looking at this graph here from Mortgage News Daily, this is the 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And as of today, which is June 21st, interest rates on the 30 year fixed rate mortgage is currently sitting at 6.9%. And you can see that that's been fairly stable so far this month. You know, we've been used to kind of seeing these large swings on a day to day and weekly basis but it seems like mortgage rates for the time being have kind of stabilized just under 7%. So it'll be interesting to see where those go. The Federal Reserve did decide to pause their rate hikes this month. So we'll see what they decide to do from here, but those Federal Reserve decisions are likely going to be influential in where mortgage rates are headed from here. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, please feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. More than happy to answer any questions that you have and let you know what we can do to help. If you're curious on what you might qualify to purchase, I would be happy to refer you to a lender who can help you figure that out. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. If you wanna read a full copy of the most recent Orange County Housing Report, just let me know and I'm more than happy to send that to you.